Assassin's Creed Shadows Combat is shaping up to be the upgrade fans have been asking for, introducing bold changes designed for hardcore players. But are these upgrades enough to finally fix Assassin's Creed Combat once and for all? Let me explain. The new combat mechanics, combined with the dual protagonist approach, isn't just a tweak to already existing mechanics, it's a complete overhaul. They make every fight feel unique, offering gameplay variety never seen before in the series, at least not at this level of detail. Take the posture attack for instance. This mechanic lets you shatter enemy defenses with light and heavy posture attacks that can deal different levels of damage. However, vigilant enemies can quickly counter them. Then there is the vulnerable state, triggered under specific conditions, creating short windows letting you deal massive damage to enemies which can be combined with posture attacks for maximized damage. These new mechanics make the fights more interesting since you'll always have to stay alert and read enemies' movements. Defense mechanics have also been reworked to suit each protagonist's playstyle. Naoi, for example, uses directional rolls to evade attacks while Yasuke opts for directional steps. Even their parrying style differ. While Naoi's parries pivot around enemies exposing their flanks, Yasuke's parries are more traditional, bouncing enemies back to create openings. Also exclusive to Yasuke, he can block incoming attacks, arrows, and kunai, though unstoppable attacks remain a threat, which we will explore later in the video. These distinct combat styles, while not too different, can create unique opportunities that will most definitely affect every encounter in the game. Beyond basic combat moves, players can unlock a variety of skills and abilities that shape their playstyle. These include passive upgrades like increased health and adrenaline, as well as active abilities like combo variations and new mechanics. Unlocking them requires mastery points which can be earned through leveling up or defeating certain enemies. While we still don't know much about the game's leveling and progression system, how do these mechanics translate into actual combat encounters with the dual protagonist system? As a skilled shinobi, Naoi thrives in one-on-one -on -one combat, leveraging her agility to overwhelm enemies with quick attacks. Her lighter armor and swift movements make her deadly in smaller encounters, especially in stealth scenarios. Also, you can learn more about Shadows of Stealth through the link above. However, as a stealth-focused assassin, she struggles against larger groups of enemies due to limited combat resources. So what's the solution? Switch to Yasuke. As a powerful samurai, Yasuke excels in direct combat. His larger build and superior strength allow him to knock enemies down, break guards effortlessly, and even switch weapons mid-combo, chaining attacks and abilities seamlessly. Yasuke also wields unique samurai techniques like the sheathed attack, a move that's harder for enemies to track and parry when timed correctly. Weapons play a crucial role in defining each character's combat style. Naoi wields a katana for regular attacks and a kusarigama for crowd control, creating distance by pushing enemies back. But the highlight of her fighting style is the long-awaited return of Hidden Blade combat. Combining the Hidden Blade with her Tanto enables more effective kills and even double assassinations, another fan-favorite mechanic making its return in shadows. On the other hand, Yasuke's weaponry complements his raw power. He uses a long katana to match his size and abilities, a naginata for crowd control that deals substantial damage, and the kanabo, a heavy weapon capable of devastating attacks but reliant on precise timing. For ranged combat, he wields a yumi bow for stealth scenarios and a teppo rifle for non-stealth occasions. This dynamic weapon system pairs perfectly with a roster of diverse enemies. Ubisoft Quebec has designed different foes ranging from outlaws to Ashigaru soldiers that are notably more aggressive toward Naoi but show fear when facing Yasuke. Ronin, Samurai and Samurai Daisho will appear throughout the game as you progress. Some of these samurai will be equipped with endgame gear, creating bigger challenges. There are also elite samurai known as guardians, deployed when alarms are raised, so the enemy encounters will be pretty varied and challenging as you level up. Each enemy archetype brings distinct fighting styles, but they share common mechanics that players can master for a better combat experience. For instance, enemies might initiate flurry attacks, uninterruptible sequences that advance players can deflect entirely to trigger a vulnerable state. They also perform unstoppable attacks, which can't be blocked or parried, but can be dodged to exploit their vulnerability. Additionally, enemies can counter your moves, dodging strikes and launching lightning-fast counters. 
Enemy AI has been revamped to feel more dynamic as well. In larger groups, enemies attack more frequently, emboldened by their numbers. In one-on-one -on -one scenarios, however, they become cautious, relying on defensive tactics. This interplay between protagonists, weapons, and enemies add depth and immersion to gameplay, making it one of the most refreshing changes the series has needed. But with all these improvements, one question remains. Is Assassin's Creed combat finally good? With all the new changes, Shadows seems to feature the most advanced combat system of any RPG era Assassin's Creed title. It feels like Ubisoft is finally taking a step in the right direction. While Assassin's Creed Mirage oversimplified its combat system in favor of a stealth driven gameplay, Shadows appears to strike a better balance, delivering necessary improvements without sacrificing core mechanics. In fact, with the introduction of new systems and improved enemy AI, Shadows could potentially have the most hardcore combat in the series to date. The dual protagonist approach gives Ubisoft the freedom to experiment with diverse playstyles without alienating players. Prefer stealth? Now is your go-to. Enjoy advanced combat encounters? Yasuke has you covered. Of course, we don't know how effective these changes are until we get hands-on experience, but based on what's been shown so far, Shadows' combat looks promising. This might finally be the game to fix Assassin's Creed's combat, something Ubisoft has struggled with since the franchise began. Only a handful of titles like Odyssey and Valhalla have managed notable improvements, at least on a technical level. Regardless of everything, what do you think? Are these changes the step forward Assassin's Creed needed or would you have preferred a different approach? Share your thoughts in the comments below.